Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about, I want to say, three topics of interest. Uh, the first one being uh, that the SCP Foundation has been having some problems recently with, oh gosh, what's the best way to put this? Incidents that have undermined confidence in staff. Um, there are multiple versions of this uh, problem. <laughs> um, first of all, staff have, I don't know if the word getting caught is the right, eh, eh, getting caught uh, talking behind users' backs about users, which in and of itself is just basic little high school drama stuff, but is part of a pattern of uh, behaviors, which have led to a lot of members of the community worrying that members of staff aren't taking uh, their jobs too seriously, which you would think it's like, that doesn't even sound that bad, except in the case that they, you know, ban people forever from the wiki and <laughs> have, you know, widespread power over people's abilities to interact with the wiki. Uh, they should take their jobs somewhat seriously. And if they're just making fun of people both in private and in public, uh, that's a misuse of their own influence. And I say this as someone who has in the past uh, had some difficulty understanding exactly how much influence I have. Uh, whenever I post like a quote from somebody these days, I make sure and block out their name because I'm a little bit worried about the influence that I have over my audience as a good example. I'm not going to go into any specific examples, but the, yeah, the SCP and the administration is talking about fixing that. Part of it is that, uh, and this is something I've known for a while because I was a moderator, I was just one step down from administrator uh, on the SCP wiki for a decent little chunk of time and having access to those back channel uh, channels uh, and you know interactions with people who are on staff uh, staff is a stressful thing and a lot of people use those back channels to vent about users they don't like uh, the problem is, is that I feel like it's probably become and it not 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 become has been even when I was there so normalized uh, that it has spread to people thinking it's okay to make fun of people in public, and it's just not. As a member of staff, you take on a certain level of responsibility towards the users, uh, and that hasn't been necessarily reflected in people's actual behavior. Also, there's the Dr. Magnus versus uh, Serastus, and there's no really other way to put it, uh, problem that happened. And Dr. Magnus is a was a long-running administrator of the SCP Wiki. Um, I believe heavily involved in the technical side of things. It's been a little while, but their actual job here is not necessarily relevant. Uh, simply that there was an accusation that Serastas had taken Dr. Magnus's uh, work and posted it uh, in a plagiarized form. Uh, which was absolutely untrue. I should make that clear up front because plagiarism accusations in a writing community are very serious. Um, and even though it was untrue, Dr. Magnus's influence with staff and a wide variety of things. I mean, being an administrator, moderators and operators certainly feel a certain level of uh, pressure to bow to the demands of an administrator. Um, because of this, Dr. Magnus, uh, uh, because of their influence, uh, there was an investigation by the disciplinary team, and some of this became public well before there was any sort of a conclusion, which again, is problematic. Just the accusation, it's, it's a little bit like certain types, I should say, certain types of harassment. Um, you, you once you make it public, just even the fact that there were accusations, um, you kind of like ruin somebody with some people forever. There are still people out there, I guarantee you, despite the fact that the SP Wiki has done its best to uh, rectify this and make sure, make it clear that there was no plagiarism. I, in fact, I, I don't remember which server it was, but a couple uh, weeks ago, maybe months ago, it's, <laughs> time is fluid. But um, I saw somebody say something along the lines of Serastus, isn't that the person that plagiarized? Magnus, um, and this is the problem, right? 
that's never going to go away. You have to correct it when you see it. That's all. Um, so this is another example of the administration of the SCP Wiki not really doing their job properly. We also have, and this is important too, the SCP Legal Fund. So the SCP Legal Fund has uh, posted a new update, and I'm going to uh, summarize it rather than read it directly because it is, well, I mean, I can read this. This isn't too long. Hello, everyone. It's been busy behind the scenes, and we have some new information to release now. By the way, this is from John Beatty, Beatty probably Beatty. The biggest news is that we have retained the services of further lawyers. Mr. Chusov is still in the case and will be assisting, but we now we need uh, more specialized advice to make sure that we completely dismantle Dutzkson's attempts to trademark SCP. We've made some important strides, but we can't quit now. We need to make sure the SCP continues to belong to everyone who wants to create it under the Creative Commons license and not just one person. The new lawyers, and this is important because I'm going to have some critique of this decision later because it's not the SCP Wiki that decided this was a good idea. It was their new lawyers. The new lawyers believe it's time to bring the attention to the many people affected by Duxon's shameless actions. To that end, they've asked that letters be written to the Intellectual Property Court of Russia. If you can spare the time to write out why you believe the Dux that Duxon's actions are wrong and unfair, and why SCP is important to you, we would appreciate it greatly. If you decide to write such a letter, we ask the following, and I'm going to give you these too. <laughs> First, it should be an actual paper letter with your actual signature on it. Um, I'm not going to there's a little bit of the caveats here. Second, there's the address. Third, please reference case number 143 uh, forward slash 2021. Just make sure they know what your letter is referring to. Fourth, please be polite. Fifth, please write the letter in your own language. And finally, use your own words. I can't write the letter for you because I can only guess what SCP means for other people. This is your chance to be heard and let people know why this shared universe is important to you. I understand that not everyone has the time to write out a letter like this, but if you're able to, it would really help out our efforts to protect SCP for everyone. This is something that the lawyers advised them to do, and maybe in Russian courts this would be more important, I guess? But it really just feels desperate. I mean, there's nothing on here that says so, and the address was updated in a second post, but then it's also updated in the original post, but that's the best way to put this. If they thought they had him on the merits of the case, this wouldn't be necessary. The fact that they're asking for this means that the new lawyers are looking at their case and thinking, hmm, I don't know. It feels like a stunt and a gamble. And you don't do that unless you think you're going to lose and you have no uh, nothing to lose. Now, this is just an immediate. This was my snap judgment reaction to it. And it could and couldn't. It could be wrong. It could be right. Who knows? Um, and the lawyers are saying to do it. And if and to be fair, if they think that it is that dire or that it's a good idea and it's not dire at all, uh, it's a good idea to do. If the lawyers are asking for it, we should do it. However, <laughs> it just seems like a terrible idea. I mean, they're going to get let. Like, it makes more sense to me that they would be asking for like direct impact statements from uh, people in Russia, not the literally dozens or hundreds of people who are going to send in letters from abroad. I, I don't know. That's a little, that's a little wor. Let's just put it that way. That's a little worrying. Although even if this is the problem, this is why I'm like, well, I, I was thinking about like, what would I write? This won't affect me because this trademark, uh, won't affect me because I don't live in Russia and, or the, uh, there's a sort of a Baltic States in Russia. I think, uh, maybe not Baltic States, but like central Asia, uh, like intellectual property agreement or something that this would technically also apply to. Uh, but I don't live in that area, so it wouldn't affect me. And then someone was like, well, what if, uh, what if this is used as precedent? And then he says he owns it everywhere. I'm like, but he's trademarked the SCP logo. I mean, then you just change the SCP logo. I mean, if it were to come down to it, you just change the SCP logo. This wasn't a this isn't a copyright issue. It's just the logo being trademarked. Anyway, I mean, it's not like the SCP logo is so original. I mean, it was literally taken. 
oh no, it's so original and, and iconic. It was stolen from, <laughs> not stolen. It was, it was created by someone from an Adobe Illustrator suite of stock images. Calm down. <laughs> anyway, but this is to say that this isn't important or that this isn't like something that we should be very, very, uh, very, very invested in. Um, it is important, but it doesn't directly impact me. Anyway, but write letters if you think writing letters will help. Um, Go, I'll give a link again to the fundraiser. I mean, you don't have to donate anymore, I don't think. They're not asking for it. Um, but if you want the information on how to contact them and whatever, I'm not suggesting you do this, by the way, personally. Uh, I want to be clear about that. Because uh, there could be, you know, legal repercussions to advising you to write to a court. Uh, but they are. And I'm just going to give you a link to their request. Lastly, and this came up yesterday, I had been playing, as soon as I saw this, and I don't remember when this was, uh, yeah, this was done yesterday too. Yeah, I saw this yesterday, and I was like, I'm going to make a news uh, thing, because there's been some updates, there's been some problems on staff, and I was going to I was gonna go into it. And then last night, <laughs> um, a user on the, or I should say a moderator, yeah, my, let's, let's, just, let's use the term properly. One of the hardest working moderators on the SCP wiki, Procyon Lotor, has been put up for promotion to administrator. And you might under, uh, question why would that sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? With that sort of introduction, uh, it would be any sort of an issue. Um, but Procyon Lotor has a long, long history of essentially being incapable of objectivity. Uh, this is... A long, long, and I've seen absolute, and they've, ugh, gosh, the weird part is that while his, uh, his r angry, rude, and incredibly hostile reactions to both users and uh, offsite people in general have been sort of acknowledged and accepted by staff, they, um, they claim he's changed. But behind the scenes where nobody can see. Um, and I would argue, of course, that if he's changed in that short of a period of time, maybe you should give it a little bit, <laughs> like a year or two and see if he's because this, this is not a this is not a short term sort of thing. Administrator is forever. Well, they have they're making rules about activity and everything. But as long as you're active, administrator is forever, basically. <laughs> Um, it feels like the kind of thing that they should be a little bit more careful about. Now, I know that they are having a lot of uh, stress come through their lives, which is, you know, part of the position. I'm not saying it's fair or right. I'm just saying it is what it is. Uh, and the worst part is that there's a fella called uh, Conwell who's also up for promotion at the same time. And he is probably, a, I mean, not, I say probably, as far as I know, a great choice. Um, so they have one great choice and one terrible choice. And I wouldn't even be making this part of the video because I should be clear here. I should have been clear at the top, but I'll be clear in the middle. Um, I have an incredible bias. I think it would be accurate to say that I hmm, dislike, if hate feels like too strong of a word, but might be appropriate. I don't like Procyon Lotor um, at all. Um, my interactions with them, uh, my, my, I should say, my final interactions with uh, Procyon Lotor were incredibly negative uh, to the point where, uh, yeah, I, I really, really dislike this person. Um, so I find it difficult to be unbiased, but I do attempt to try and throw some object objectivity in there. And I also will caveat it with, I have a bias, so keep that in mind. Uh, they are this person is not appropriate for administration though at all they it Procyon Lotor and you can look up their interactions with just people on the SCP wiki Procyon Lotor has a I believe a disciplinary uh a legitimate disciplinary uh thread on the SCP wiki about being too uh rough with uh, users um <laughs> It's just, and again, uh, in my own personal experience, uh, 
and I have personal experience on this. This is a person who cannot separate their anger from their uh, power and behavior. And in an administrator, the person on the SCV Wiki who has the most power of anybody, that is a terrible trait to have. Now, the, the funny part to me is in reading the statements about why this is a, why this is a good choice, uh, a lot of people will say, He's not afraid to speak truth to power, or he's not afraid to run counter to what the administrators want. And we need more voices like that. One, I'd argue, knowing the guy as, as well as I do, I, I should say, oh, that makes it sound like I know him very well. Uh, knowing him as well as I have in the past, I'll say, first of all, he's going to do that whether he's an administrator or not. So why does he need to be made? Why is that an argument for administration? Two, uh, that is really just a rephrasing of his problems of being too rude, of being too abrasive for no reason, by the way. Um, yeah, it's just a whole thing. There is a huge uproar in the community right now over this possible promotion. And last I looked, the vote is four to one. Uh, no, three to one. Uh, there's four votes total. So the current vote is three to one for him uh, joining the administration team. Um, it, it's it's really, really early. Who knows which way things are going to fall? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there's no other way to put that. Whoa, is this a bad idea? Oh, boy. And again... I wouldn't bring this up as a news item except for the fact and because of my bias because it feels like you know the kind of thing i would be like hey this guy's being promoted and i hate him don't make this a big deal i'm not saying that this is a community issue because outside of me it has elicited an incredibly strong strong response a dj cactus posted literally yesterday a tweet about this and it has oh, let me look real quick here there's been a huge discussion on the scp declassified subreddit uh let's look at his tweet real quick um the scp staff is this is dj cactus the scp staff is about to promote the most hostile needlessly aggressive and borderline abusive on-site moderator to admin and no it isn't conwell because it's not conwell conwell's not who we're talking about here uh, share this with your friends if you think uh, if this is going to happen, people need to know about this, dude. Remember the Sarastas incident? And this is important. We talked about this earlier. Procyon both aided and enabled Magnus, who later resigned instead of being censured for using disciplinary to take out a hit on Sarastas. This is confirmed. And again, that's DJ Cactus. And this, I, uh, just to understand the ratio, uh, let's take a look at how many people have. Oh, click, I, I've, I've screwed it up. I've screwed it up notifications right just so we understand the ratio because it's supposed to be like how often how much something is uh correct or controversial has 11 comments and 91 likes which is not a huge amount and 28 retreat we really retweets um just so you have an understanding of what the fuck is going on here this is not a me issue this is a multiple people issue which is the only reason i bring it up again huge bias here i hate the guy but, you know, anyway, that's it. I uh, just wanted to cover these topics today. I was going to just originally just cover uh, the my, my thoughts and why I think that the legal fundraiser news is not good news. Um, it's already a problem, by the way. And maybe I should circle around back to that. That's already a problem because the, uh, the actual ruling last time around was sort of a mixed bag. It was, it was painted as it was a good thing. Like, it was all good, but it was really a mixed bag. They refused to rule on the core issue. They just kind of ate around the edges of it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, go to the fundraiser site. Look at their instructions. Follow their instructions. Don't be rude. Um, and do what they need you to do. Because if they're asking for it, they must need it. Even though it sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> and then hit the subscribe button. Actually, hit the subscribe button before you leave. I don't want you clicking out. I don't want you going anywhere before you hit that subscribe button. You, you are, yeah, yeah. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100. It is nice to know that I am not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday. <laughs>